Okay guys, I have been asked to do a gear check. I have been requested to do a gear check, gear tour of my current gear and my account. So, since I have been multiboxing with 4 accounts in the same game since season start, I have really really good gear. So I will show you all my items in stash and on each character that I have and explain you the, the builds. First I will show you my stash and last I'll show you all my characters um, I will make uh, timestamps below the YouTube video that I plan to make where you can just click any of the numbers if you want to go to any specific of the numbers okay let's start I'm gonna hide this one and we get started First, this is my main tab. Empty tab here. In, empty tab. Empty tab, so you can fill up gear. This is my wizard tab, my crusader tab, my all-around tab. Here is a lot of cow weapons to get XP pools. And here is my materials tab. In my main tab, as you can see, I have a lot of bounty materials here to reroll. I have gems here, ready to augment gear. I have a 99 stricken. A lot of 80 gems here. So you can augment items that if you find anything new you want to augment, you can use them. A lot of forgotten souls. And generally uh, most of the gems here are really high level. Here is nothing. Uh, I'll show you here. This is my material. All my materials and gems. And a lot of Ramaladin's gift so you can cube so you can put sockets on your new weapons. <coughs> here is my greater of keystones. And here is my first wizard tab with all the wizard gear that I have not currently equipped. Um, I only save items with the best stats possible. Here is pretty decent explosive blast chest. I'll just go through the items pretty quick. Notice that a lot of the items have physical resistance, making them a lot, of, a lot better, and they have really high main stat. Physical res, physical res, really high rolls. Fifty Arcan secondary, pretty good one. This one you can reroll the end to crit chance. <coughs> Here you can reroll the strength to crit chance, into crit chance, and here into crit chance, making them really, really amazing. Tal rushes, physical rest, physical rest. Really hard. This source is really amazing rolls. Really nice trifecta restraint, trifecta litany. Really nice focus, With high average damage also. Here can we roll strength to crit damage, making it really good area damage ring. The same here, strength to crit chance. Really high rolled with vigilante belt. Very nice string of ears. Here is my. I can outfit weapon, really high rolls, high average damage, two good H HC goals in case you're gonna go uh, that build. Nice primordial soul, really good crown of the primus. And look at these Nilfus boots, very high end, very high vitality, nice resistance, and 200% secondary. Okay, so that was my wizard tab. Later, I'll show you my wizard gear. Here is my crusader gear, current uh, crusader tab. I uh, have saved one of each weapon to, in case it will become useful. Really high rolls here, 99%.
Really nice uh, Maximus. This one you can reroll the attack speed to crit to cooldown reduction and it's uh, perfect for Bombardment Crusader. <coughs> it will look like this one but have 24 rear damage instead. Really nice uh, leadless wall with CDR also and all nice rolls. This one is pretty much perfect rolled. Okay, let's get back to... This one has 40%, pretty nice. This one rolls 6 additional. Really high strength with life percent. High bless shield damage. <coughs> okay, here is my arcane gear. Really nice uh, final witness. Okay, here is my light gear. Seeker of the light. Notice that all the pieces have physical resistance. This one is really amazing because you can reroll the phalanx damage to anything like crit chance. <coughs> Physical rest and really high uh, melee damage attack reduction. Also physical rest here. Physical rest here. Two good rings for Crusader Bombardment. Here is a really nice helmet, Roland helmet. Can reel the fist of the heavens to almost anything. This one is pretty nice rolled Roland shoulders. Look at this one. It has melee damage reduction and range damage reduction. And then there is the legs here. Pretty high roll. You can reel the armor to high uh, all resistance. Really, really nice boots. Really nice Heart of the Iron and another really nice uh, roll on chest with high physical res and all the nice primaries. So you can either reroll the secondary to life after kill to percent damage reduction or you can reroll the life percent. Here is my uh, fourth, fifth tab with all around gear. I'll go through it quickly. A lot of different items with really good rolls. 100% here. Really nice was well, St. Andrews, St. Achirus for a uh, support. This furnace is for LON bombardment. Really nice punish build here. Notice these have rolled near maximum and you can reroll the elemental damage here to anything. This one is also really nice. Same as this one, you can reel all rest to anything, any uh, elemental you need. Here are some items for your follower. Really nice unity here for the follower. Really nice phalanx ring, you can reel all the life percent. You can reel the strength, uh, life percent to a socket. Also pretty nice convention. Here is the support Ring of Royal Grandeur. A decent Ring of Royal Grandeur. Really nice in case this ring is really nice in case you are gonna do Toma 10. This weapon is so nice for a witch doctor.
Okay, that's my stash. Now I'll show you my multiple characters. This is my profile. As you can see here, I have a lot of different heroes here. I'm gonna show you all of them. This is my hero of the fallen on hardcore. I have a lot of. Uh, I played a lot of hardcore, so I have a lot of uh, dead characters. And I played all five seasons, as you can see here. Okay. I'll go quickly through the characters here. And I'll show them in details in a moment. Okay, so first I'll show you my Invoker Crusader. The Invoker Punish. Currently the most popular build on... On... Um, on Diablo fans, um, I'll go through my gear here. I can show you here. It's taking really, really quick, as you can see. I did an 80 solo a month ago with it. Okay, my gear. Physical res. High thorns. Again, physical res. Physical res. So much physical rest, it makes you a lot more strong when you have so much physical resistance. Punish damage. Really good roll, the uh, Justice Lantern. In. Melee damage reduction. I have some extra pieces here with also physical rest in case it will become uh, needed. Also physical rest. Another good weapon here where you can reroll the average damage into whatever you need. Okay, so that's my Invoker Crusader. Paragon here, a lot of I got a lot of Paragons since I played this one last. Okay, next coming up is my Next coming up is my um, bombardment, LN bombardment character. I currently have I'm going to have the, the world best gear at LM Um I'll show you here on my gear. Uh, for this, I actually have multiple weapons you can use. You can also use the Sunkeeper, a really good rolled one. Or you can use the Swift, one of these Swift mounts here you can use. So I have multiple good weapons here. I would probably prefer the Sunkeeper. But physical is all, the Doom Bringer is also pretty good. Uh, okay, I'll go through my items here. All the gear is fully augmented. Really nice rolls. These shoulders are incredibly rare because they always pre-roll armor, which means it basically has to roll all the perfect stats, so you can re-roll away the armor. So it really has to roll secondary thorns damage. It has to roll strength bit. And it has to roll either bombardment damage or CDR. So they're really rare. Notice all the items have thorns damage, which is what you need for this build. These are really good also. These boots are near perfect. Here is my amulet, really nice one also. Really, really good shield, really high toughness, and also for thorns and physical damage, which is what you need. You can see the stats here. I have really a lot of uh, thorns damage. Okay, my follower is really good equipped, also, near perfect gear for the follower. Really nice SS Johan, maximum uh, rolls. Good Justice Lantern to get more block chance. Because when you block with the f with the f uh, freeze of deflection, the enemies get blocked, get the uh, freezed for 1.5 seconds. 
And then you have the Oculus ring here, 85%. Uh, Eighty-five percent uh, damage for you. Okay, so next character. My Roland support crusader. Okay, this is my support rolling crusader, a build that I personally made that you can use in greater if 100 plus. I have really good toughness items here for this full ancient for the support build. Physical res. This one gives a lot of regen and the rest of the items here you can get you can uh, get them from one of the other support characters. What this character does is it group up mobs with gathering sweep. It gives you a group 20% crit chance increase. This one makes you able to rest you one more time. This gives you a group 100% crit hit damage and 15 attack speed. And this horse allows you to move 3 seconds so it gives mobility. Then you have to condemn to also group up mobs. Okay, next coming up is my Tom and 10 Rift character, the Wizard, which is currently the fastest uh, for Tom and 10. And I've made a Death Breath build that allows you to farm a lot of Death Breaths per hour. Also, fully augmented and really good gear, I'll show you now. Wonder Whoa, really high stabs. Almost fully augmented. I have gems so you can just augment them if you want to. <clears throat> the reason I use the Sage set is that it increased Death Breath drop by one. <clears throat> really nice shoulders. This color has. This Firebird source is near perfect. Really high area damage also. As you can notice here, these restraints are trifecta with the high crit chance and crit damage and max CDR, which allows you to have more mobility. Okay, so this is my Tom and 10, uh, LON, no, Tom and 10 Explosive Blast, Talarashes, Sage, Wizard. Okay, next coming up is my Delsair Inati Twister build, which is currently the best build for DPS in 4 man group. The Inati Twister build, where you, I can show you how to stack the twisters, which allows you to do a lot more damage. So the way you do is, uh, you stand here, and then you TP into the corner. And then you do, okay, I'll do it again. Then you do like this, which is not correct right now. Okay, maybe this corner is more easy. There we go. So you can see the, the in its twisters, they don't move. So they just stack on each other, making them do even more damage. This you can do in almost any inverted corner. Okay, so I'll show you my uh, incredible uh, Delsar gear now. It's my weapon, really high roll secondary. Re really near max combination of elements. I also have an ancient one here with nice rolls, 200%. You can augment this one if you want. It's pretty much better if you augment it. Here is nice trifecta gloves with re damage also, already augmented. Really, really good shoulders, near perfect. This helmet is really nice, also. 
chest has secondary melee damage reduction also. I have another chest here you also can use. <coughs> this witching hour is really really good. It has high rolls and also physical rest. Physical rest again. Here I have another pair you can use that's better. Plus 5% toughness. You just need to augment it and it's uh, definitely better than the other ones. My amulet is uh, the best you can get um, as an as an it's better than any non ancient uh, traveler's patch. I did the math, and if the only way you can get a better one is instead of int, you need crit chance. This is really good uh, rip wraps. A nice compass rose. I have a couple other ones you can use also here. This one, for example. Okay, <clears throat> this is my source. I also have this one you can use in case you need critical hits gain arcane power. Okay, next coming up is my support with Starter. Which you can use for four men. Foreman, Greater Rift 104 plus, really good gear, a lot of toughness, which should make you not able to die. Okay. <coughs> really nice chest. I also have this chest, which is also really great. This shield is really, really good. And then I have some different Nemesis braces here you can use in case you need. Okay, here is my support bar, barbarian, that you can use in the 4-man group, which is also in the current meta. So in my inventory is, in case you're gonna go hold to build. Also, build to spawn more cloaks for the group. Okay, this gear here is for Vilvin, the current build that a lot of people use. Really nice ring, you can still re roll it. This build, you need crit chance to spawn more cloaks because in our cube we have Solanium. Okay, so this is my support part. Still take a lot of uh, main stat here. Oops. Well, <laughs> okay, I'll pick that later. Next coming up is my Tom and Tent build, Crusader build, that allows you to farm death, death breaths, and while you're doing Tom and Tent. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have the Novel Fever set, <clears throat> which means you can use your Steed Charge a lot more and increases the damage of your Steed Charge. Death Breath set. Really nice shield. So the way this build works is you ride over the enemies and they basically die. Yeah. 
and you have Prim Horse. Okay, next coming up is my Arcane Orbit Wizard. Here you can just take the gear, the Delsair. Here's the weapon needed, and the belt. And